Philippians 4 6-7, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The sixth key that I hope you will consider, is learning to think about the needs and concerns of other people. Solomon said, Proverbs 3:27. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. Listen to the words of Paul to the church in Rome. Romans 12:10. Love each other with genuine affection, and take delight in honoring each other. If you only worry about yourself, you can easily become consumed by it. But diverting attention from self to others will help you begin to see your issues in their proper perspective. Your anxiety will decrease because your mind is focused on helping others. This is why Paul encouraged the church in Philippi, Philippians 2 4, don't look out only for your interests, but take an interest in others as well. Instead of concentrating on self, each of us should be concerned for the needs of others. Often we will worry about things that are beyond our control. But the number of things that are outside of our control can be overwhelming. For example, you can't control the other drivers on the roads. You can't even always control your child's actions. Because they have to want to listen and be obedient to your instructions. And you definitely can't control the economy either, your money is spent before you even get it. Say Amen if you can. Most people will also feel a great deal of anxiety and anger if they feel slighted in some way and believe that they are not getting what they think they deserve. If your spouse betrays you, or if you got passed over for that promotion that you felt that you rightfully deserved. When an injustice is done to us, we can easily be filled with anxiety. And we may even act inappropriately. And it can feel like a heavy blanket, smothering all of the joy and happiness that God wants us to experience in this life. But the problem is, human beings always want to be in control. But when you choose to be joyful, you're putting your inner life back in its proper order and taking control back from worry. But remember, worry is just a reaction to forces outside of your control. Sadly, you'll never be able to control every situation or circumstance that will happen in your life. All you can do is control your reaction to those circumstances. Therefore worry is a choice. It's a bad choice. It's a disobedient choice. Because it constrain your relationship with the Lord. And cause you to even question God. But God is not the problem, you are, because if you are a Christian, you must realize that anxiety is a failure to properly trust God. Take note of Solomon's wise counsel. Proverbs 3 5-7, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and shun evil. This is why Peter could confidently write, 1 Peter 5 7, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Therefore, God wants to free us up from all of the cares and concerns of this life. So, the smart thing to do is be obedient to the word and the will of God. We should all strive to realize as Nehemiah once proclaimed, Nehemiah 8:10. Nehemiah said, This day is sacred to our Lord. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Therefore, you can choose worry, or you can choose joy. So why not choose joy? But for you to be able to take full advantage of God's many blessings, you must be willing to follow Peter's instructions and obey the gospel. Acts 2:38. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord will add you to His family, the Church of Christ. Please, be sure to invest in yourself by liking all videos, and please share my videos with everyone that you know. I need your help. I need at least 1,000 followers and our subscribers, so that I can meet the requirements in order to go live. I have some biblical content on the following four different platforms. But 100% is on my YouTube channel. So please push the notification bell so that you will be informed when I post content. Be sure to like, comment, follow, and subscribe to my ministry channels. So until next time. Take care.